feel has changed over the years dramatically. Now it's about how we can provide more data into the operator's hands. We need to leverage technology and the operators want to leverage technology to the best of the ability, so we need to give the best technology for them to do so. We're here at a test site today in North Carolina to demonstrate the latest in our 3D products. We're going to be looking at some software products that allow drones to be able to navigate in a GPS denied environment. We've got an amazing 3D data set, and so looking at that and always trying to find what are the newest applications that we can use with that. One of the obvious ones that came up was, could we use it as a visual reference in order to be able to navigate when there is no GPS information? GPS denial is no longer theoretical. It's going to become an expected condition that you have to operate in. We built a vision-based localization algorithm that allows us to match full motion video captured from aerial platforms against our highly accurate 3D surface model of the Earth. We build that surface model using a deep stack of multi-view photogrammetry imagery from our satellites. Right now we cover over 92 million square kilometers of the Earth's surface with this reference model, and that enables us to do this vision-based localization, which allows GNSS denied navigation pretty much anywhere in the world. The preservation of human life, especially in the soft world, is critical. Operating without a GPS, you're able to navigate from a safe location, not directly in front of an enemy combatant. So what you're seeing here on the screen is on the left-hand side, you're seeing the live video feed coming off of the drone that Reed is flying over there. Over here on the right is where we will be projecting that video feed onto its true location on the Earth. Our navigation is very much like how a human would navigate. You're not always staring at your feet. And that is basically what Nader mounted cameras are doing, right? They're always looking at their feet to try to figure out where they are. But as soon as you start to look up away from your feet, you can start to see geographic features. You can see tree lines, you can see roads, you can see buildings. You can start to see mountain ranges, which match very, very well when we load that imagery into our 3D model. When you're walking around, if you're trying to figure out where you are, instinctively as a person, you will look for landmarks that you can see. And then because you recognize those, you know where you are in relation to it. That's exactly what we're doing with our 3D-based registration. Right now, there is no GPS information being fed from that drone to this ground system. We're operating as though there was zero GPS available. And this is now the projected drone video feed onto the ground, and this dot represents the position of that drone. You guys wanna do 300 feet? The reality of where we are today is that whether intentionally or sometimes unintentionally, GPS signals are being jammed. And so we wanna be able to provide a way to determine absolute position, whether you're talking about on the ground or up in the air, with or without the GPS signal. So those are from our pre-surveyed points. Um, we came out yesterday and, and used that high-end survey equipment, and uh, that was compared to the coordinates that Micah just pulled on the system here, and they were within a meter to a meter and a half of each other. Our technology could be used to even avoid conflict. If we can spot something ahead of time, the operator on the ground could potentially make a decision where lives are at risk going on objective, and the mission is still accomplished. It's cutting edge and it's fast paced. It's going to empower immersive mission planning and providing unmatched situational awareness.